Der französische Künstler Christian Moldanski hat die große Halle des Kunstmuseums mit einer riesigen Installation von rund 200 transparenten, circa zwei Meter hohen, durchsichtigen Tüchern bespielt, den ganzen Raum, das ganze Raumvolumen. Auf diesen Tüchern sind ganz zart aufgedruckt verschiedenste Menschen, Gesichter von Menschen zu sehen und die bewegen sich teilweise durch den Raum hindurch, äh, hat diese Motive äh, sich entliehen von einer Arbeit, die schon im Kunstmuseum äh, zu sehen ist, respektive in der Sammlung sich befindet, nämlich menschlich. Das ist ein Art Archiv mit rund 1200 Gesichtern von verstorbenen Menschen, verschiedenste Gruppen von Menschen aus verschiedensten Herkünften, die er in Archiven gefunden hat und die er hier in einer Art Grabanlage äh, eingelagert hat. Und aus dieser Grabanlage sozusagen hat er einzelne Motive herausgenommen, auf die Tücher gedruckt und in die große, luftige, weite Halle hineingehängt. Christian, it was just one year ago when you stood here just yeah. here and you look in the big hall also you know Wolfsburg you was very surprised about the dimension how the idea with the moving whales and the transparent whales arise I, I think there was two reasons one reason was Wolfsburg for me mean Menschlich because Menschlich it is a very important piece for my life and Menschlich is here in Wolfsburg and the The museum is really connected with this piece for me. Uh, the second thing is what I want to have this museum empty. Uh, I thought it would be better if there was only the sun in this museum. And I wanted to make something very, very light. Light and light. You know, there was two possibilities for me from the beginning. The normal possibility was to put everything in the dark. And uh, I work a lot with the darkness, mm -hmm. and it's always easier for me to work with the darkness. And also what is good with dark is that you can't see the building anymore. Mm -hmm. You are in a neutral place. On the other way, uh, it was perhaps too easy for me to work with the dark. And also, it seems to me that in this place, it was important that people can stay for some time. Mm -hmm. Very often when you make uh, an installation, you can see it in four minutes or five minutes. Mm -hmm. Here, I wish that people can stay. And that's the reason, for example, uh, I want to have chairs, mm -hmm. because I want people can sit and look, just like you know, when you are in front of the sea, mm -hmm. you look at the sea. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, And you know, who knows, when I was there, we spoke together about Japan. Mm -hmm. And you have made a very beautiful show about the relation with Japan. Yeah. And uh, I took the catalog and I love this catalog. And this piece is a very Japanese piece. Mm -hmm. And Because I don't know if it is a reason, but yeah. you know, uh, we, don't, we never know why we are doing mm -hmm. something. Yeah. And perhaps a little part, it was because we spoke about Japan. Yeah. The museum itself has uh, some aesthetics of Japanese house, tea house. It's yeah, a in big a way. Japanese tea house. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, there was an idea of light and after the wind in the little garden and the Japanese garden. And, uh, and, uh, and the beauty very often in Japan that everything is so light, you know, the, the, the walls are in paper and everything is so fragile. Yeah. And, and perhaps it's one of the reasons, and there's always so many reasons when you do something, but perhaps it was mm -hmm. one of the reasons. Yes. And also, I mean, it's a fact that uh, the men's dish is really, and I always say that, a cemetery. Mm -hmm. It's very dark, it's a tomb, it's like an Egyptian tomb. Mm -hmm. And here we are in the spirituality, in the spirit. It's a temple of, of light, a, a temple, temple of, of light, wind, uh, wind and uh, light. And, light. Yes. and uh, the spirit are dancing around us. Yes. And it's no more sad. 
is perhaps mm -hmm. nostalgic, but it's not sad. Yeah. It, uh, is, I, I love Menstich, but it's very heavy. Mm -hmm. It's a very heavy piece. Yeah. You know, you are yeah. destroyed when you look at it. Here not. Here it's full of light, full of life also, in a way. Yeah. It is the spirit. And I really imagine that uh, around me there are all the spirit of the people I knew who are mm -hmm. uh, dead now. Mm -hmm. And they are somewhere around me. Is that new, this uh, optimistic perspective? It's a little ridiculous to, to say that, but now I'm really so close from the fight of dying, you know. Yeah. I mean, because I think to the fight of dying a every day. Yes. And, and in that case, you are no more afraid to die. But it's not normal that uh, people become optimistic about the awareness of their own death. You know, perhaps when you are in a battle, you are yes. no more afraid because you are in the battle. Yes. When you know that the day after you are going to the battle, you are already afraid. Mm -hmm. But when you are there, it's okay. <laughs> it seems everything became more and more invisible. You came yeah. away from the photographies. Yeah. You are a little bit sure. critical against sure. the, sure. the sure. idea of photographies. Sure, sure. Uh, the work in the Japanese garden is only sound yeah. with these wind bells. Yeah, uh, and also there means there's less and less object that uh, who can, you can put in a, in a flat, by example, or in a gallery. And most of the work I'm doing now are destroyed after. Uh, for me, there's two ways to communicate and to preserve things. Uh, one way is by the object, uh, like a holy relic. And the other way is by the knowledge. Mm -hmm. And now most of my work uh, survive by the knowledge of the work, but not by the object of the work. Mm -hmm. If this piece is destroyed, yes. it will be possible to do it again in 30 years. With the same images or with other images. I mean, these images are no more sacred. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is a piece is a rule, yes. is a idea, mm -hmm. is no more the object. What, what I'm trying to work, but I didn't find the, the good solution, is to work uh, with Facebook. Mm -hmm. Because what is fascinating me in Facebook is that we have so many, so many humans, mm -hmm. and so many humans who are each time one person. Mm -hmm. I mean, each time is somebody with his name, his taste, his age, his photo, and you have millions and millions and millions of these unities. Yes. And also something fascinated me in the internet that they can't put the dead away. Mm -hmm. And you have more and more dead person in uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. And you don't know if it is a machine behind the face. Yeah, yeah. But in the case, it's a, way, it's a way to survive. Somebody can be dead for now or two years and he's always in Facebook. Well, that's why we, we, we go to Facebook, is to say, I'm here. Mm -hmm. Here I am. I exist. I exist. It's a little bit like the little bells in our Japanese garden who rings. Yeah, it's, it's to say, I am. Neben der großen Installation Geister hat Boldanski noch eine zweite Arbeit für das Kunstmuseum produziert in dieser Ausstellung. Und zwar sind das die Stimmen der Verirrten. Im Japangarten, der seit 2006 hier in unserem Museum existiert, hat er feine, etwa 20 ganz feine Glöckchen, japanische Fury, Windglöckchen installiert. Und es ist ganz Berührend, wenn man aus dem Museum heraustritt in den Garten, wie dann durch Bewegungen des Windes diese Glöckchen zum Tönen kommen. In buddhistischen Klöstern und Gärten werden diese Glöckchen eingesetzt, um sozusagen Gebete oder Bittstellungen in den Wind zu schicken. Und hier in Wolfsburg ist es sozusagen die letzte Stufe des Erinnerns an eine einstige individuelle Existenz. Es ist zwar quasi die Stufe kurz vor der vollkommenen Auflösung, vor dem Vergessenwerden. Und es gibt auch ein 
Zählwerk, in dem seine Lebenszeit in Sekunden gezählt wird. Das sind mittlerweile, er ist 1944 geboren, mittlerweile ca. 21 Milliarden Sekunden. Und dieses Zählwerk wird dann stehen bleiben, wenn Christian Paul Danz gestirbt. I was born at the time of the minimalist, by chance. Uh, I always say, but that's something so depressing that if I was born 20 years before, I shall be an uh, uh, expressionist abstract artist. Ah, yes. You know, I think that the time where you are born is so important. And For example, you, you can recognize the artists of the end of the 18th century yeah. and the artists of the beginning of the 19th century. That means there's something perhaps more important that you is a time. To be born at the time of the minimalist was very important for me because it called, I was more cold. I think mm. I'm a very expressionist temperament. Yeah, temperament. Temperament. Yeah. And uh, it will be dangerous if it was only uh, expressionist and I need something to yeah. cool myself. Yeah. To give a structure. Uh, to give a structure. Yeah. And the minimalist gave me this structure. You know, in my life, I have a very few moments of creation. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, uh, to be very optimistic, I have three moments of creation. At 24, I understood that I was an adult. Yes. And I began to create uh, my work. I can say my work began at this time. After, there was another time of creation when my parents die, mm -hmm. and it becomes visual. I began to create really very visual art. It yeah. was not like that before. Yeah. And I began another time of creation when, when I become older, is the time now, yes. that I began to create very large installation mm -hmm. only in the head and then after. Yes. And this period began, I can say, five years ago or something like that. Uh, yes. Ja, wie kein anderer Künstler der internationalen Avantgarde beschäftigt sich Christian Boldanski mit dem Thema von Erinnern und Vergänglichkeit, von Vergessenwerden und dem Ankämpfen des Menschen gegen das Vergessenwerden. Und in dieser Ausstellung geht es, man kann sagen, im wörtlichen Sinne um Leben und Tod. Tod ist ja ein Tabuthema in unserer Gesellschaft und was das ganz Überraschende ist, ist, dass Christian Woldanski das eigentlich mit einem gewissen Optimismus thematisiert. Die große, weite Lichterhalle, wo eigentlich alles Tote sozusagen zu sehen sind, hat eine große Leichtigkeit und der Künstler beschäftigt sich mit diesem Thema mit einer Würde und mit einer ganz stillen Eindringlichkeit.